so today we are doing background vocals for a demo. A demo for Norman Hutchins. So um, we are kind of like slightly in a rush. We're kind of under the gun to finish this. But not just that, I wouldn't do soprano alto and tenor. That's, like, that that's true. We'd have like actual. That's true, that's true. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to demonstrate how a song would go. Yeah. This is what harmonies might sound like. Of course, this is bad because what I want to tell these people is even when you're demoing, give your best shot. Yeah. Well, I was so ask. just rebuke, everybody just forgive and rebuke all at the same time. All right, so right now me and Rudy, as we were waiting to discuss this, we were talking about something I think that's really important. I think this song is another song from Norman Hutchins that is actually a very simple worship song. Yeah. And like, I wish I could tell people like, stop racking your brain trying to be like, must write a hit, must write a hit. So not every gospel artist is gonna write like Stinking Don Lawrence. As every oh, Greek yeah. word, right. every Hebrew word. And, and it's dope for what he's doing. And man, he's killing it. Goshen's right. bad. So this is a good example of like, someone being like, I'm just a worshiper. Right. And you get the song out and it's gonna be anointed because right. it's in a good place. And nobody has to be like, okay, let me fit 10,000 reasons right. into one, I don't know. And what? then Norman what? Hutchins, Bishop Hutchins comes on here and does Jesus I love you, yep. God's got a blessing with your name on it. That's it. Like Okay, wait. I think we're in it. I like it I like his verbiage. He chooses yes. verbiage that people understand. I'm just thankful this morning because um, I get to uh, interact, you know, and learn at, at this level of, of like that they're they're at this other level. And I used to be really afraid of that and now, you know, in the season I live in like First of all, I'm a dad, and I'm a pastor, and like, so to be able to do this is it's halfway hilarious, and uh, the other part of me is just grateful, like, the old Aaron, but the musician me is like, wow, like, I thought I was done doing music, and here I am learning more and more every single day, so I'm, I'm very grateful. All right, here we are. Ooh, hello. What's this? Uh, it was, we had a tough I'm singing, I didn't know how to sing it, man. We just had a tough <laughs> if you wanted. Uh, Courtney Lanyard, right here. What up? How you doing, man? Chris over there, guys. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Alright, so this is not gonna be fun for you because we're hearing it in here, but I'll show you the stuff afterwards. It's gonna be cool. You guys can hit Chris. Yeah. I just wanna come and work. I just wanna give you the You want me to stay out, Chris, until right no, now? No, I'm not done. No. Yeah. I'm See, I'm not asking for the noise, but just another chance. Just another chance. I'm trying to get an idea now. Good, my friend. So good. So good to see you. Hey, 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 Face out here. Take face out right there. 
But just another chance Just another chance I like the front too. I love the sparseness of the, because we want to just say, I don't want my So I sing to tell you I love you, baby. And then when it, you know, yeah, that's it. Um, it's just like, uh, <laughs> you sound replace like, the anointing out of it. No, it's just like, oh, uh, it's cool, but you missing that air. Mm. And it's just replaced by a sound already. Yeah, then is. you start adding reverb, then you start adding all this other stuff. Uh, it's like like, I recorded the reverb. It was in there. Yeah. It was already there. It's already there. Performance-wise, it's there. I just, I used to, I used to, man, I, that drum thing, I would be like, even worn. I mean, like, because those kicks would be like, I was like, whoa. Mm. Like, <laughs> I know there was a drum, like the, um... The sound record, mm -hmm. you know, with, 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 you know. Aaron Lindsay? No, the, the Warren record that he did on the Mary Mary that, oh. that I was like, yo, oh, how was that record. kick? The radio record. That's a kick, that's a killer record. Man, I, I was record. like, how are those drums? And he would cut those drums here. And I'd be mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Drum sets don't, you oh, know, they don't sound like that. Yeah, well, the Earth Wind well, records, we know <laughs> those are drum sets, but... I mean, clearly, Sonics have changed. Those songs are not as loud either. That's the thing. They That's push true. those songs are softer songs. Yeah, those songs are so Yeah, there you go. And so we so we, things are louder. We're mixing everything louder. Yeah. And so yeah. we lose the dynamics too. That's so. That's why it's very important. I I hate gates. Mm -hmm. I really I hate gates because you don't get no. <laughs> you don't get drama <laughs> and those shields, those little oh, shields. Oh gosh, they're oh, terrible. No, oh no, away. those are terrible. A church, no, yeah. no, those, those away, though. <laughs> the bulletproof. <laughs> I saw John the Key said, I'll pay the church an extra 500. <laughs> 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 he did it on the mic, man. We were in Houston. He was That's like, I'll pay the drums. Because he was in a, a room. He was in a room. Faithful Central about to do the room. Oh, no. With the air conditioning pipe. No. Oh, man. And, oh, that's just horrible. They're about to do the room. That was okay. <laughs> They're about to West. do the room. The joy is at West. And, and Bitch would be like, we got to do something about the drums. And I said, well, let me create a, I said, with carpet right. and padding, right. it'll be fine. But you put that glass on. Oh, and then it's a delay. Now, now you're depending on Marv, Marvin and, and Al, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that point, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I'd rather play dynamic here, you know, and yeah. like, y'all can Tell you know me how they Faithful is not gonna do that. Oh, they're just, doing it. It was our, it was almost there the last time Easter, I played there. We did Easter and they just put Gordon got them circle things to try to trick him. Those are terrible the too. And, and circle they, things? Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're just like cages. It's like, a, it's like a it's plexi, but it's in a circle and they put it on the symbol uh, stand. Uh, it it like, it so like it's not right, completely enclosed. Oh, right in front. Oh, but churches, man, they, they oh they go those boxes? Oh man. <laughs> It's, it's all wrong. They saw it at the Caucasian church. Yeah, it's all wrong. It man. sounds good when the Caucasian church does it though. Right. <laughs> you know why? Because they play with volumes yeah. and dynamics and stuff like that. Playing with <laughs> Ableton. They play right. They playing with all of that stuff. All of right. That. And the front of house is being mixed with no stage volume. Right. And I hate that. I'm like, stage volume actually affects the front of house, and it should. Yeah. I think you should You mix think it. it should? Yeah, you should mix it. You don't think the deader the stage, no. the more you can push? That is it, it depends. I think that's the worst yeah. misconception. No, it no, 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 it depends. I can tell you that. It depends. I, th it, I think the only way them residencies are happening and Vegas and all that is that the stage is dead. That's the only way. But but that's now. I, but, I agree. But there that's is, the only way. But there is a qualified sound engineer back there as right. well. That's true. You know what I'm saying so like yeah that, you, that right there put, is everything when you put a plexi up or you you like take your monitors off the stage and it's not whatever 
then they gonna have to work and mix. You know what it's like? like we need this. to take a day and we need to mix. Your, yeah. to where your it feels keyboards, good. if you got a rack with your modules, you usually submix and send them everything stereo, right? right? I think it's wrong because if you sent them each of your individual keyboards no, no, I agree with that. and left it, it's the same way with mixing. Our dynamics on stage are from what we're playing. If they don't know the show or if they're not That's like, true. then all the dynamics are off because they're not getting the foundation. But, but, but losing the, the monitor level changes that? Yeah. It don't change what we're playing. Yes, 100%. It does. affects, it affects. Man, I, I, you, can't, I can't feel it with when the... When you take away the keyboard player monitor, everything changes. They had to put a monitor back in Facebook. I'm, I'm telling you, because you know how you know how we grew up playing, yeah. like with y'all, especially with y'all. Y'all want to feel it too. When y'all yes. get these down here, feel it. y'all want to feel it. And you that. play different. That's true. I play different through an amp. All of that stuff matters. Like yeah. even the ring matters, like everything. But don't go That's get, just a let little drum, where we just, did let we the just drum. disagree a little bit because I'm here. These records, Chris, these records are smashing. And I'm telling you, like, I for them kicks on Quest, I was, I didn't know he's using a 24, 26. It depends, man. Like, he'll put, he'll put a, 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 He'll stuff the drum till it's all like yes, not, and then he'll all put the mic tricks. on the batter side, so he'll have a mic next to the kick pedal. Oh really? Like uh, it's all kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, man. quest definitely. I know the, uh, his engineer uh, that does a lot of group stuff, Blue John Smelts, and all so he takes a day just messing with the kick. Yeah. Yeah. Just messing with the kid. Wow. Cause them, I'm telling snare, you, them, them, snare, them D'Angelo records. I'm just still trying to figure out, mm -hmm. like, how is that stuff? It's a lot of layering too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Think about it, Funk Brothers, right, or any of the Motown records. Yeah. Is you have like three tracks of drums, so it'd be like kick, kick and snare, maybe. Yeah. And then. I had yeah. and other toys is on something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he playing, rarely plays times. Yeah, very rarely. Yeah. So, all of that you can control. Like on this, I did the swells separately, just on so what? you can control on this song. So you can control them. What do you mean you did them separately? Yeah, overdub the swells. Oh, over the, swells. the session today, man, it was incredible playing with guys of that caliber. Chris Johnson, um, Courtney, Leonard, Man, dude, or I'm sorry, Leonard. I'm, I'm I keep on butchering his name. I'm so sorry, Courtney. If you're watching this, if you care to watch this, if you do, thank you. Um, but dude, these guys, man, their caliber is so dope. Like the level that they play at, like how quick they were. I was getting scared. I arranged the song and I was getting scared. I feel like I didn't even. I was like, oh, I don't really know this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was one of those moments, you know. And um, I had to talk myself into it and be like, dude, Aaron. You're here for a reason. Don't be a wuss. Step up and play like you've been playing for a long time, like you have experience and you know what you would expect of other keyboardists. Like, be that guy. Like, produce yourself in your mind right now. Like, chill. Don't be a little baby. You know what I mean? So, I had to talk myself into it today and thank God it worked out good. We did three takes, we kept the second one and, um, I think it's, it's going to be a beautiful song. Only time will tell. God knows. And uh, can't wait for Norman Hutchins to get his vocals on there. Get the backgrounds in there. And uh, it's going to go to radio in a few months, which is awesome. Uh, so be on the lookout for it, Norman Hutchins. The song is called um, I Just Want to Worship. So it's a great song. I'm excited to be a part of the production on that. So, all right, fam. Thanks for checking this out.